Hi Cancer, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is a tarot forecast. I'm going to take the energies as they come out. It may be about love. It may be about career finances. It could be about something social like family, friends, or something maybe personally you need to work on. So whatever comes out here, we're just going to take it as it comes and hopefully it resonates for you. So we're going to look into your situation. Um, how you're feeling, what your energy is like, what your actual situation is, advice for your situation, possible outcome for your situation, and clarified with tarot plus oracle cards. So if you clicked on this, and there's probably something in here for you, so hopefully it resonates for you. So if not everything may resonate, so take what resonates, throw away with what doesn't. Um, it could even be about somebody around you that could be affecting you. It could be past, present, future energy also, so please keep that in mind. And um, I also ask if this doesn't does not resonate with you that you don't unsubscribe because future readings may. Not every single reading will resonate every time you watch. So please do keep that in mind. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Cancer. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. So let's see what's going on with you. I will pull a card here from the Zodiac Oracle so we may get a sign element or planet could be anybody around you or it could be a sign in your chart or just an energy affecting you in some way. So we'll see what we get here. So what do we have for Cancer Spirit, please, for December, for this tarot forecast? What do we have for Cancer for December for this tarot forecast? Can we have one card, please? I'm feeling that one. Okay, what do we have here? We have Saturn. So this is Capricorn energy. So you could have Capricorn in your chart, or you could know somebody who's a Capricorn around you. It could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, could be anybody really. And um, Saturn, let me see here, is about ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. I'm not an obscure, uh, I'm not a um, <laughs> astrologist. So I do have a little cheat sheet here, but I do like to give a little bit um, on signs and that sort of, you know, planet energy. So ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that affects your reading. And Saturn is Capricorn. Capricorn does represent the devil in tarot, which is about um, some sort of toxic energy or behavior, or it can be just a fra um Stress, fear, worry kind of energy you can speak of obsessions, addictions also. So that may not mean anything, but we'll see here as we go on. So let's get one card here as like an opening message. Let's get an opening message for you. What is the opening message for Cancer for the month of December? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we have vacation here. Well, some of you may need to go on vacation, or maybe you are on vacation, or maybe you have a vacation plan, something you're looking forward to. Maybe you're going to a tropical place. Maybe you're going uh, to a different, maybe you're going somewhere where it's sunny and warm, somewhere tropical, or something like Jamaica, or maybe down south, um, you know, like Florida, or something like that, if you're in, you know, this part of the country. So yeah, vacation. Rose is telling you you need a vacation here. I don't want to set my cards on fire, so let me push that back as I drop everything. And yeah, I feel like your life is kind of like not a mess, but you feel like overwhelmed, like overburdened, tired, overworked, a lot going on, and you just need to release stress. <laughs> let go of some stress, anxiety, worry, um, not burdens, but uh, responsibilities and just kind of get away. Maybe even a cruise or something like that. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So let's see. Let's get an, another card here for like your current energy. What's going on with you? Why do you feel like you need a vacation? Why does cancer feel like they need a vacation? Raising your standards. So you may need to set boundaries here. You may have too many responsibilities. Um, you may need to set boundaries. You know, as in raising your standards, like not putting up with things anymore. Um, 
and also reaching for higher things, you know, raising your standards, like I could do better th- doing this, I could do better in this area, that area, like putting the bar higher for yourself in a way or in your situation. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here, inner power. Exactly, so by raising your standards, it's kind of like raising your vibration, it'll give you more of that inner power of yes I can, yes I will, I can do this, I can do better, I can do better if it's just eating better or if it's just, you know, getting more sleep or um, having more time for yourself, relaxing more and going on vacation um, and that sort of energy. I think it'll give you more inner power, needing that inner power to set boundaries, to set limits with people, places, things around you, responsibilities. All right, so let's see. Don't lower yourself or anything or anybody either. All right, so let's see. Why are you in this energy of raising your standards? Raising your standards for Cancer for December. Maybe, you know, with. The Saturn there represents, you know, like I said, Capricorn the devil. Maybe you have some toxic energy around you um, and you need to like set boundaries and like raise your standards, even if it's other people, like telling them, you know what, you need to do better, you need to do this, or not like telling them what to do or you should or whatever if they're like, I don't know, if they're not in a good place. All right, so what is this raising your standards about for Cancer? Nine of Swords, stress, worry, anxiety, fear, uh, air energy there, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be in the world. So this is uh, Earth energy. So this is closing out cycles, starting new cycles. Ooh, so I feel like I feel like you're stressed and maybe you're closing a chapter in your life and starting a new chapter also. Um, and like raising the standards for yourself, getting your inner power. You know, maybe you have to raise the standards within yourself and know that you're worth more than you, whatever your situation is. If you're leaving one job, going to another job, or maybe you're moving, you know, you don't like the area that you're living. So, you know, I need to raise my standards. I'm going to move to a better place. Uh, ending a relationship or even just, and it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be relationships that are toxic and no longer serving you that are just dragging you down it's like raising your standards here and maybe you have stress and anxiety and fear over ending a situation whatever it may be and starting new or starting a new cycle for yourself and you know maybe you need a vacation here just to like get away so you can sort things out you know clear your mind um so you can really think about exactly the steps you need to do moving forward um, and clear your energy. So let's see. So we have the Five of Cups clarifying this. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is your stability here. This is about you being more stable, grounded, and secure on your own, your own two feet. Um, being independent, not relying on anyone but yourself. So you may be leaving something behind here. You may be a little sad about that or this could be just whatever you're leaving behind uh sad that you're leaving that behind you know there will be a sadness but you still have two full cups behind you so there's still happiness that can be had moving forward if you turn around and go in a new direction and pick up these two cups and move forward you still will have happiness you still will have stability so i don't think you really need to stress about it about starting this new chapter, this new cycle. You do have the inner power here that's like strength to do this. But you may need to go on vacation just to sort things out, just clear your mind, clear your energy, and make, you know, maybe just making detailed plans on the steps you need to do to move forward, to release things here and move forward to a better place. All right, so... Let's see what your actual situation is for you, Cancer. Six of Cups. So this could have to do with family. Um, 
Six of Cups talks about, you know, people, places, things of the past, you know, friends and family of the past, thinking back fondly of those memories. Um, it could be a childhood home. It could be moving back. You could be moving back home. You could be leaving the place you grew up in to move somewhere else. Um, maybe you're going on vacation to look at homes where you want to move to. Because the world can also be about travel, moving. All right, what else? Three swords. Yeah, heartbreak here, painful heartbreak. So, yeah, there will be heartbreak and sadness here. Um, you know, but if you feel like this is what you need to do, then let's get one more. Let's get one more. Temperance, so Sagittarius energy here. So over here we have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now we have Ear, the um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, the signs don't really matter. It's just energy. This is a general reading. But temperance here is, you know, balancing out your energy, having patience. Something divinely guided for you. So, yeah, just be, you know, I think you're trying to be patient with, your surroundings, what you're going through, how you're feeling, you know, moving forward, knowing there's going to be heartbreak of if you're ending situations or you're moving, whatever here, you know, there will be, it's right in the middle of your spread. So yeah, there will be sadness, sorrow, heartbreak here. So let's get a couple more, a couple more for you, Cancer. So we have the Page of Swords. So this is honest communication. So... Truth, clarity, communication. You know, you may, may be even communicating, you know, what you're cutting out of, your, out of your life so that you can raise your standards into a better life for yourself. You may be even cutting away things of your past. You know, maybe even, you know, family, friends that are no longer serving you, that are dragging you down. You may be like, you know what? I need to move on from this energy. You know, I've been very patient with, certain things people places things around me but i need to do what's best for me i still have a lot of good memories but all right so let's see let's get one more three cups so this is rejoicing reuniting coming together uh celebrating so you know you may be coming together with people like one last i don't want to say one last time coming together um, before you like either move on or move away or whatever you do here something you're doing here you're coming together with people just to come together because it may be a long time before you can come back together again and I'm, I really think here it's people from your past people friends co-workers here like you could be even you know leaving a work situation you've been very patient there but you know what there's been too much crap that's gone on that's really broke my heart like over the years so, so much that I just can't do it anymore. So you may be, you know, going out with co-workers, having a good time one last time or for a while here and telling them, you know what, I need to cut this out of my life. I just can't do it anymore. I need to move on. Start a new cycle for myself. And this vacation could be, you know, uh, just being on a leave or uh, something like that until you find something else or so let's see what's your advice so we got the sun so this is following uh your heart mending your heart healing your heart into your joy your success your happiness your abundance happy home and family by doing what's best for you following the light growth abundance what else do we have here? Sun is Leo. It's the best card in the deck. The King of Swords. So yeah, living in truth. So this is air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. This could just be your energy of living in pure truth, honesty, clarity, open, honest, truthful communication. You know, you're cutting away those things that are no longer serving you with these swords here. And standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, which will lead to your happiness here. That's what the advice is. Queen of Cups, so that's your energy. Queen of Cups. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, so being more peaceful, 
being in a more uh, harmonious place, being happy, having self-love for yourself, being in a more loving, compassionate place now because you feel so much better now. Eight of Pentacles. So again, you know, this is putting in the work, uh, dedicated effort. So this, yeah, and it's right under the Three of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, which is about work. So you could be going out one last time with co-workers that you love dearly, the Queen of Cups energy, just to, you know, like a farewell party or something or get together because you know your truth now and you need to move on to your happiness. Or it could be family. It could be any kind of situation here where you're coming together to have, a, you know, a good time because you're moving on doing what's best for you. All right. So let's see what your possible outcome is here. What is your possible outcome for cancer? Whatever their situation. So yeah, moving on to a better place. And you physically could be moving. You could be, and maybe you will be going on a cruise or something like that. You could be physically moving overseas, um, you know, to a lake to, or something here near water, moving across water, but moving on to a better, peaceful, harmonious, happy place and leaving all the BS behind that's not serving you that just left you in this heartbreaking energy. Wow, okay. So let's get a couple more. Seven of Cups, yeah, uh, confusion, daydreaming, um, making plans, decisions for the future, daydreaming what it would be like to live in a tropical place <laughs> or a warm place or something like that. Okay, let's get another one here. Eight of Swords. So mentally trapped and blocked for some reason. <sighs> and let's get one. Why is that here? Wow. That's too many. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Cancer? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Cancer? The Hermit. So this is going within, reflecting Virgo energy here, finding your way, finding your light, doing that soul searching, inner journey work. So, I mean, you may be, you may feel a little trapped before you can fully move on for some reason, but I think you'll find, you know, your way out of it here with the Hermit card. You'll see the light, you'll see the way, you'll be able to move on from this mental entrapment, whatever it may be, and move on to a better place. I think you're daydreaming here. Seven of Cups could be about daydreaming, confusion, choices, options. You know, maybe you just can't figure out where you want to go to, um, move to, or move on to. But you're definitely going in that direction. But I think you'll find you'll find your way with the Hermit, what you really think. And maybe going on vacation will help you. All right. Somewhere sunny <laughs> with the sun here. <laughs> sunny and warm. All right, so let's see what's on the, the magician. Yeah, new beginning. So manifesting a new beginning here for yourself. Four of Swords, yeah, again, like with the Hermit energy, thinking, contemplating, um, you know, healing, recuperating, you know, what, you, what you're going to do moving forward. You know, making those decisions, hard decisions you need to make. Releasing burdens no longer serving you. Now we got the King of Cups. So this is our energy again. King and Queen of Cups. So, you know, living in truth and honesty with yourself, being self-fulfilled, having self-love, self-worth, value, will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles down the road, whether it's alone or with a significant other. Your Ten of Pentacles growth, abundance, success for the future, long-term abundance. After you lay down burdens and make those decisions, you know, thinking, contemplating, and manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself. Wow. So let's get a few more oracles here about your about your situation, Cancer. So I do ask Cancer, if you do like the way I read, to please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection reading, which I just finished um, all the signs. So all those readings are up. Uh, general tarot forecast. 
I do a singles reading who's coming towards you, and I do a spirit messages reading, what you need to know it from spirit at this time. So if you are interested in all those readings, please do hit the bell when you subscribe. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Please check the description box below how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. And just a quick shout out and thank you to everybody who has supported the channel in any way. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't do without you guys. Without your support, the channel wouldn't grow and flourish. The messages wouldn't get out to the people that need to hear them. So without your support and without you sharing, liking, and all that good stuff, videos would not circulate, the channels would not circulate, and it makes it very hard for YouTube to support you. So the more support you give, the better it is for me and the channel, and the better uh, the messages get out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you so much for that. Okay, Cancer. So let's get some extra messages for Cancer here for their situation. For their situation. What's going on with Cancer? And I know this seems like very um, general. I mean, it could be about anything, but it's just letting you know that if, you know, <laughs> leaving things no longer serving you and raising your standards and doing better for yourself will lead you to your true happiness and joy here. So whatever you need to do, I would say do it. We do have adult children here. So you could be supported by adult children or there could be adult children codependent on you that you maybe need to cut them off for a while so they can grow up and be independent on their own <laughs> is what I'm getting, just being honest. So that could be the case or maybe you're moving to where your adult children are so you can be around them more. All right, so, or you could be going on vacation with your kids. All right, so let's see anything else for cancer. Or if you haven't seen them, you know, maybe you're going on vacation to go visit them. If you haven't seen them in a long time. Memories, yeah. So Six of Cups here talks about memories of the past. So thinking back on the past here with memories. Let's see if we get one more. Cancer, anything else, gracefully aging. So some of you do have adult children here and I think you'll age more graceful if you release things not serving you here and move towards your uh, happiness and joy, what's best for you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, volunteer. So, I mean, that could go a lot of different ways. You could volunteer your time. Uh, or maybe you've been volunteering too much of your time and that and that's why you feel overwhelmed, overburdened. Uh, could be why people are codependent on you, whether it's family or friends. Um, or um, <laughs> having too, ma too much responsibility because you take on too much, you volunteer too much. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. I can help. I can help. And now it's like, now you're like stuck. <laughs> And now you need a vacation. So however that resonates for you, or maybe it's telling you if you've been thinking about volunteering in any way to help in any kind of charity benefit or just helping out in the community or helping anything, any place, you know, do it. This is telling you if you've been thinking about it to do it. And I think it'll just give you peace of mind and it'll help you along the way and uh, probably bring you happiness because you do have the sun here. Okay, Cancer, uh, best of luck to you here in your situation, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and know your inner power here, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.